Hey guys, so I just wanted to pop in for a moment. I'm not sure if you guys have heard about this story. For those who have not heard, there was an Amber Alert issued um, here just a few days ago for this seven-year-old girl. Her name was Athena Strand, and she lived in uh, North Texas, which was, I believe she was found in Wise County. Um, first of all, I want to personally give my condolences to the family, the stepmom, the dad, and the mom that lived in Oklahoma. So she had to drive down to discover her daughter's body, which is just, it's terrible. I would never want any parent to go through what these parents are going through right now. So um, let me go ahead and just kind of read this article because this is just disturbing, guys. Um, police said that the mother of the seven-year-old, Athena, had been looking for her since before 6 p.m. She was the last seen around County Road 3573 in Paradise. And by mother, they are referring to the stepmother. So um, 10.57 p.m. on December 2nd, the body of seven-year-old Athena Strand has been found. Uh, Wise County Sheriff Lane Atkins said at a press conference on Friday night, and they have a suspect in custody. So you guys, the suspect, his name is Tanner Lynn Horner. He's 31 years old. He is a FedEx driver, guys. And he confessed to the police, you know, to the abducting, abducting excuse me, and killing Athena um, Wednesday afternoon. Um, he was actually a contract driver and he was delivering a package to Athena's house when she was abducted. Okay, so there was an Amber Alert on Wednesday night, um, but she wasn't found until Friday. And so what the authorities are saying is that um, the little girl, Athena, she possibly left ac after an argument with her parents, which actually it was an argument with her stepmother because her father was actually out hunting. I'm going to go ahead and read the rest of the article. It says in an update provided Friday, officials said the search has transitioned into an investigation with the search as opposed to an initial search accompanied with an investigation. The Amber Alert said Strand was last seen wearing a gray slash black long sleeve shirt, blue jeans with flowers on the front pockets and brown boots. And so in an update Thursday evening, the Wise County Sheriff's Office said that both the stepmother and father are cooperating with authorities in the case. And according to officials, the Amber Alert was issued to broadcast that Athena was missing or probably abducted to as many people as, pos as possible. So the reason it wasn't done sooner was because the family told the sheriff that Athena had done this before. So the sheriff's office felt that they would have found the child eventually in the night. So according to the sheriff's office, around 200 citizens have helped in the search and that they have searched an estimated 50 acres so far. So the Texas Department of uh, Public Safety, the local Texas Ranger, the Fort Worth Police Department, the Bridgeport Police Department, several local fire departments, Wise County EMS and Search Rescue One, K-9 Assisted are all contributing to the search. Guys, this is just so sad. I, oh. This guy, Tanner, so he was an independent contractor. Of course, that means he had to purchase a route from FedEx and buy his own FedEx truck. And I know, you know, some people do that. And I know it's quite common even with Amazon and possibly with U UPS. But I guess my question is, you know, hopefully these answers will come out. Everybody, I'm sure, wants to know how long was he a FedEx driver? Did they do a background check? What kind of background check was done? You know, we all want to know answers like this because this is very, it's very clear. And I highly doubt that this was this guy's first time. Obviously, he's a pedophile. He's a monster. This is disturbing. This is disgusting. And FedEx is definitely going to be under fire. Um, I wouldn't be surprised, of course, if they get sued by this family because of the situation that has happened. Like I said, my heart goes out to this family. I couldn't imagine one of my kids being kidnapped and abducted and finding out that it is a driver, people that you trust to bring packages to your home, looking at your child and taking your child away from that home and you never see them again. 
Guys, let me know in the comments. Have you guys heard about this story? What are your thoughts about it? I mean, I'm crushed to hear that this has happened to a little girl, especially a seven-year-old girl. This breaks my heart. What questions do you guys want to know? Hopefully the investigators can find out some more information and at least let the public know. We all know that he's in jail on a $1.5 million bond, but I hope that he never gets out. So let me know what you guys think in the comments and I'll talk to you shortly.